Good morning, everybody. We are just about to get started on our day today. Slept in a little bit because we're not in any real uh, time crunch. Managed to get a full night's sleep. I'm happy about that. Uh, something caused our trailer brake to pop last night. I don't know what. I think it was just the wind because I did feel a little bit of rocking from time to time. Um, that'll do that occasionally. It'll, it'll cause the uh, suspension airbags to eventually bleed out and pop the, pop the brake. But that's not a big deal. Um, we weren't running the engine, so we weren't really trying to refill the air as it was bleeding out. And uh, it was a little bit chilly this morning when I woke up. I didn't really want to get out of bed. I smashed that snooze button a whole bunch of times. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's all right. We'll, we're about an hour behind schedule in the grand scheme. But we'll make that up on the road, no sweat. Um, I'm going to go inside here real quick and get some breakfast and get something warm in my belly and uh, then we're going to hit the road. We got a long day driving today. Uh, no particular urgency or rush uh, but uh, we do want to make up for a little bit of lost time from me sleeping in. Uh, let's find a lane here that's not blocked. There we go. But uh, we could probably do 650, 700 miles a day before we shut down tonight. I know we've got a fuel stop somewhere. I think it's in Kentucky. That's in about 600 miles. Um, I'll take a look at the map while I'm in the store. But uh, we'll stop for fuel. That may wind up being where we park for the night. I don't really know. Um, but, uh, we'll figure it out. All right, so I misspoke. Uh, we've only got 440 miles till our fuel stops, so we're definitely not staying there tonight. Um, then it's another 300 or something miles to the next fuel stop. And then it's only a few miles beyond that to our delivery. So, uh. We'll get to our fuel, our first fuel stop in about eight hours. Headlights. And uh, we'll take our 30 minute break there while we're getting fuel. Maybe grab a bite to eat. And uh, continue on. And stop somewhere between the two fuel stops for the for our for the night and to take a 34 hour break so i'll have to be sure to plan that final stop right on out so that i'm getting into a good uh good pilot where i can use my fuel point or my, my shower credits that has laundry and some sort of a restaurant uh, i've taken 34 hour breaks in all kinds of locations some that really weren't truck stops even. Um, that's no fun. That gets kind of dull. <laughs> but uh, we'll try and plan this one out a little bit better and make good time and we'll have a good weekend. Okay, so I recorded and intended to use and make this video about a rather lengthy story um, about how I got into trucking and kind of my history and my and my uh, my background. 
but uh, during the course of telling the story, I kind of went on a long rambling rant, a little bit about the government, and then I got into talking about smack about super ego which i'm no fan of super ego and let's let's make no mistake uh they're a really shady company i worked with them for a little while and got the hell away from them as fast as i could um and i will eventually tell that story but i referenced it a couple of times later on in this video and i just wanted to give you some context so you so it's just not like random talking about something that i said that i didn't actually say i did actually say it i just didn't uh, share it. about super ego trust me I haven't made enough enemies yet with super, when it comes to super egos but uh, uh, no it's not me it's this guy oh come on now he shuts up come on there he goes there he goes Oh, thank God I'm getting out of his range. Jesus, I hate that dude. He is the worst thing about trucking. I, 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 I honestly believe that. I love trucking, and yeah, there's some stuff about it that sucks, but that guy, Mud Duck, or whatever the hell he calls himself, hard drive Mud Duck, I call him dumb fuck. That guy is a menace. Something is seriously wrong in the head with that guy. He needs to shut up. He talks about safety first, back to the bench. If he cared a damn thing about safety, he'd get the hell off the radio so the rest of us can use it when there's shit happening that we need to know about on the roads. But no, this guy just ties up the radio, ties up the airways, over the entire freaking country and won't shut up for hours. All right, now I'm gonna shut up because I've talked enough today. Y'all, this is the best name for a trucking company I think I've ever seen. Nagging Wife Express. That's, that's just classic.
short conversation with a Super Ego driver. <laughs> I didn't tell him what I had to say uh, about Super Ego. I didn't let him know I used to drive for him because I'm probably not going to be real popular with Super Ego drivers once I spill those beans. Uh, but uh, we were chatting about this new, I, I guess it's a new bridge over the interstate. Anyways, the, the exit that we got off on, the, 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 the exit that's in the GPS, which is the uh, exit 86 on I-65 southbound side, gets you off over there by the Petro. But it doesn't give you a real clear indication because the, you know, normally you'd get off the exit and you'd turn left over the, over the, over the bridge. Yeah. You'd get, a, you'd take a left and go over the bridge, and then you'd be on the right side of the interstate for wherever it is that you're going. Well, because of this construction, that doesn't work. Um, the bridge is closed, and there wasn't any real clear indicator, and the trucker path didn't know about the closure, so didn't know how to get back across the bridge to get to the pilot. And neither one of us was uh, was apparently able to figure that out quickly. <laughs> so uh, I actually just went into the Petro across the street, across the interstate, decided to take my 30 minute break there and had a nice lunch at the, uh, had a meatloaf at the, at the iron skillet. And then I got on Google and figured out how the heck to get across the interstate to go to the pilot. Um, it wasn't too hard, it just, you had to follow that road, you had to follow the road further around and it would, it went around a bend and then cut across the interstate a little bit further down <coughs> instead of right where the pilot is. Not, not a big deal. Still had, I mean, I got off at the right exit, the exit 86 was the right exit, but uh, it was just a little more complicated than it needed to be. And uh, we were both joking about that. But I didn't tell him about my thoughts on Super Ego. All right, so we're fueled up, we're lunched up. We got uh, about three and a half hours left on our clock. And I've got us dialed in. Well, where's my clock? Let's just say we've got about three and a half hours. For whatever reason, my ELD doesn't want to show me how much time I got left right now. It'll update in a minute. There it goes. Three and a half hours. Three hours and 28 minutes. <coughs> left on my clock. On my drive clock. Got plenty of time on my 14. And on my 70. So I could theoretically drive all day tomorrow and get there and deliver Monday morning and just have a short drive tomorrow. But I'm not going to do that because it's a good time to take a 34 hour break. I can get there Monday morning with whatever's left of the drive, no problem. Um, and then I start Monday off with a fresh clock. What was I saying? Oh. Yeah, we've got a, uh, I've got us dialed in for a pilot. I think it was in, oh, I don't even remember where it was. I just put, I just picked a place that was about 180 miles further down the road. Um, and that's where we're headed. And uh, we'll be there in probably about three hours, which is plenty of time.
I just finished editing the second of these vlog videos, and, well, finishing isn't the right word. I gave up. Um, it was almost two hours long. I just tacked on the last clip, and I, there was still plenty that I had to upload. My laptop sucks for editing. Um, I'm going to have to buy a new laptop. So I just tacked on the last clip and threw it up there. Uh, I now hate the sound of my own voice. I hate my laptop, which I loved my laptop until I started editing videos on it. Um, but uh, I really got to figure this shit out and figure out how to do it right. Good night. Y'all, I'm kind of annoyed with the trucker path this afternoon. <laughs> we came to pilot here in a uh, hurricane somewhere or another, or something or another, Kentucky or Tennessee or wherever we're at. And... Uh, came here specifically because Trucker Pass said they had a laundry. Well, they don't have a laundry, so I'm annoyed. Um, but we got a hot shower. We got a hot lunch. I'm going back, sit in my coal truck because I still haven't figured out the idle problem and do some, and do some work.